Hey, welcome back everyone. Past day or so, myself and the wife uh, were in uh, my uh, office slash radio slash music room doing some uh, renovations and uh, rearranging things to make it more functional. And uh, anyway, here is the end result. So far, uh, so good. Uh, I put in this shelf. Keep in mind this room is less than 8 by 8, the size of this room. So it's just like a glorified closet, basically. Uh, so, yeah, um, I moved this uh, shelf, I shortened it by one shelf, of course, and put it sideways so that uh, now I got access to it. Uh, but this shelf here, this wooden shelf, uh, basically is a very low budget shelf, uh, some uh, basic uh, shelving board and uh, metal brackets. And now I'm able to display some of the uh, radios I have in my collection. Uh, they've been in storage, so I just don't get a chance to uh, enjoy them. And now uh, I can rotate different radios in and out. I do have more radios uh, than what you see here, of course. Uh, a lot more mobiles. And uh, I have a couple of Washingtons. But anyway, that's just a part of my collection. And So I took out um, the radios that I felt would uh, be nice to display now. And that's, uh, as you can see right here, uh, that's the unit in Madison that I recently acquired. And above, that's the uh, Cobra 2000 that I've had for quite some time. And uh, these two radios, uh, well, the bottom one is a realistic TRC-449 uh, uh, with the chrome face. Uh, I've had it for quite some time. And uh, the radio up above, uh, it's a Yunlin PC-122XL. And I have several radios that have the same chassis. Not the same look, but the same chassis. And uh, I found it was a pretty rare radio to find as well, that uh, Yunlin uh, 122. Uh, also, I put on display the uh, the old 23 channel um, Cobra 135 there, as you can see. And I apologize, the lighting's not the greatest here, and the camera's not the greatest either. And of course, up above that is the uh, infamous Colt Black Shadow, which is a very rare radio. And uh, proud to say that I found it. Didn't even know that it existed until I found it, and didn't realize what I had until I got it home and did some research on it. Um, got an old. Uh, Commodore uh, computer of sorts there with the power supply. There's some RAM with it and there's a couple of games that go with it. Only thing I don't have uh, the, is the screen that goes with the Commodore. But that's uh, an antique I picked up in a barter some time ago. Uh, basically a keyboard with a <laughs> kind of like the computer built in. It's, uh, way back in the day, it, uh, that's the way it was. Um, got a few other radios down here. Uh, that's the radios that are similar, sorry. These radios here and plus more in the closet are similar to the PC-122XL with a circuit board. have a uh, uh, President HR2510 there, which is going to be repaired very soon, waiting on some parts. Um, and uh, this is the kind of like the radio room part. This is the uh, PA system speakers, um, Yamaha, top and bottom there, subwoofer. My main base right there in the corner, some rifles in the far corner. Um, uh, some uh, repair equipment there. Uh, I got rid of uh, the, the some of the gear I had to trade up for radios and stuff that you've seen a few videos way back uh, a few months ago. So a lot of my gear is gone but uh, I'm not a technician so what are you going to do? Um, there's a setup there and uh, this is kind of like the office part. I guess the the electronic or the electrical office part, the fax machine and and the printer and scanner, whatever you want to call it. A couple of pedal boards here. Uh, the one in grey is a boss pedal, a bass, bass guitar pedal system that I've done a video on, I believe. And uh, this recent acquisition is for lead guitar, it's a Zoom uh, G7.1 UT. And of course the old uh, jam and bass. And I picked up a uh, Washburn Fender Strat copy in a really good shape. Uh, not enough room inside the room, so but I have my acoustic here. This is a Yamaha LL series guitar, and it's just outside the room in the in the hallway. And of course, in this closet back here is uh, where uh, power supplies and microphones and other CB radios live. And a couple of uh, shelves back there. This is where they were being in storage. And uh, also uh, out in the uh, 
in the shed, of course, uh, you've seen the videos I've been doing over the past, uh, uh, you know, the past um, couple of months. Uh, basically, the tube radios and the oddball radios that I picked up. I shouldn't say oddball, but I guess interesting. I would be more the word interesting. Uh, uh, you know, uh, shortwave radios and uh, general multiband receivers. But to that end, uh, happy to say that now um, I've got a decent deck deck desk space to work from. Uh, still have to put in a few more small shelves to try to accommodate some other things that need to come in here. I am going to be uh, getting a few more pieces of equipment. Um, I have a um, uh, it's a HACO or HACO, whatever we say it, um, variable um, wattage um, soldering iron station coming. It's in the form of a kit so I have to uh, put it together. And a few other things just for uh, you know doing that kind of uh, picking around, and um, so that's that. Just wanted to make an update. Uh, basically, uh, you know, this is the office and the music room, but I guess you could call this the radio room update. Uh, and uh, just uh, I should have done this a long time ago. And uh, that's that's pretty well it. I want to thank you folks for uh, dropping by and uh, supporting my channel. Uh, Thumbs up if you can, if you appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, please leave a comment. Appreciate the comments. Anyway, thanks and have a great day.